Juan has three ties, four shirts, and two pairs of pants. How many different outfits can he wear if he chooses one tie, one shirt, and a pair of pants for each outfit? This can be solved by using the basic counting principle. As a review, the basic counting principle says that the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways in which each thing can occur. Notice here that an outfit would consist of one tie, one shirt, and a pair of pants. Therefore, compute for the number of choices for the ties, shirts, and pants. For ties, we have three choices. And for shirts, we have four choices. And we have two choices for pairs of pants. To get the number of outfits, multiply all the choices here. 3 times 4 times 2, which is equal to 24. So we have 24 different outfits. Choosing classes. Kai plans to enroll in four classes, Sociology, Chemistry, Economics, and Humanities. There are seven Sociology classes, four chemistry classes and three economics classes and four humanities classes that fit his schedule. How many different ways can he select his four classes? We will solve this by applying the fundamental counting principle. To determine the total number of choices Kai has, we will list down the number of choices for each class. The classes that he is planning to take are sociology classes, chemistry, economics, and humanities. He has seven choices for sociology classes, four choices for chemistry classes, three choices for economics classes, and four choices for humanities classes. Applying the basic counting principle, multiply everything here. 7 times 4 times 3 times 4. This is equal to 336. Kai has 336 choices. Pizza choices. A pizza can be ordered with three choices of size, small, medium, or large. Four choices of crust, thin, thick, crispy, or regular and six choices of toppings, ground beef, sausage, pepperoni, bacon, mushroom, or onions. How many one-topping pizzas can be ordered? This can be solved by again using the basic counting principle. We have to determine first the size of the pizza, the choice for crust, what type of crust, what toppings would you choose. For sizes, we have three choices. So we put three here. For crust, we have four choices for our crust. And then for the toppings, we also have six choices. To get the number of one topping pizzas that can be formed, we will just multiply the choices here for the size, crust, and toppings. We have three times four, times 6, which is equal to 72. Therefore, we have 72 one-topping pizzas. Choosing apartments. An apartment complex offers apartments with four different options designated by A through D. So for A, we have three different options, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedrooms. B, one bathroom or two bathrooms for c could either be on the first floor or second floor and d you could either have lake view golf course view or no special view we want to determine how many different apartment options are available and describe two such options we will use the basic fundamental counting principle to count the number of different apartment options available. 
So here are our choices. For A, we have three choices for A. B, this is the number of bathrooms. We have two choices, one bathroom or two bathrooms. And for C, that's the location, either on the first floor or second floor. So we have two options. And then for D, that's the view. You could either have, choose from lake view, golf course view, or no special view. So you have three choices for that. Applying the basic counting principle, we will just multiply all our choices for each of the designations. We have three times two times two times three, and that is equal to 36. We have 36 different apartment options. Multiple choice questions. You're taking a multiple choice test that has eight questions. Each of the questions has three answer choices with one correct answer per question. If you select one of these three choices for each question and leave nothing blank, in how many ways can you answer the questions? To solve this, we will use the basic counting principle. Now notice that there are eight questions and each of the questions has three answer choices. We have one, two, eight questions. This is question number one up to question eight. Now each question has three answer choices. Each has three choices. To get the number of ways you can answer these questions, multiply each choices here. In effect, you're just multiplying three to itself eight times. That is just equal to three to the eight. 6,000. 561. There are 6,561 ways to answer this test. License plates. A license plate is to consist of two uppercase letters followed by three digits. Determine the number of different license plates possible if a. Repetition of numbers and letters are permitted. A license plate is to consist of two uppercase letters followed by three digits. So for uppercase letters, we know that the alphabet consists of 26 letters. If repetition of numbers and letters are permitted, we have 26 choices for each of the letters here. 26 for the first, 26 for the second letter. The number of possible digits, the number of digits to choose from are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That gives us 10 digits to choose from. So we have 10 digits here. Since repetition of numbers are permitted, we also have 10 choices for the second digit and 10 choices for the third digit. Using the fundamental counting principle, multiply each of the number of choices here. 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10. That is equal to 676,000. Now suppose that repetition of numbers and letters are not permitted. How many different number of license plates possible? If repetition of numbers and letters are not permitted, for the first uppercase letter, we have 26 choices. So whatever we picked for the first letter here cannot be picked for our next letter. That gives us 25 choices on our second letter. For the digits, on the first digit, we have 10 different options. Since we've picked one digit already for the first, that leaves us nine choices for the second letter. And then eight choices for the third digit. To get the number of license plates by using the basic counting principle, multiply 26 times 25 times 10 times 9 times 8. That gives us 400, 
68,000 different license plates possible. So suppose that the first and the second digits must be odd, and repetition of numbers and letters is not permitted. How many different numbers of license plates possible? Let's take a look at first the restriction given. The first and the second digits must be odd. So these are the choices that we have. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 9. Now in the choices, we have how many odd numbers? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 odd numbers. The first must be odd. The next one should also be an odd number, but take note that repetition of numbers and letters is not permitted. That leaves us with four choices on the second digit. For the third digit, nothing has been said, so there's no restriction on the third digit, except that repetition of numbers is not permitted. That leaves us with eight choices. Why eight choices? Eight choices because from 10 different choices, we already have picked two, whatever those numbers were. So therefore, that gives us eight choices left. For the letters, the only restriction is that repetition is not allowed. For the first letter, we still have 26 options. And for the next one, we have 25 options. So multiplying everything using the basic counting principle, we get 104,000. Suppose that the first digit cannot be zero and repetition of numbers and letters is not permitted. We have still 26 options for the first letter. For the second letter, we only have 25 since repetition is not permitted. And the only restriction for the digits is that the first digit cannot be zero. So from the choices between 0 to 9, we will just take out 0 and the rest are possible. So that leaves us with 9 choices for the first digit. For the second digit, no restriction is imposed except that it cannot repeat. So from 10 choices, whatever we've picked on the first digit, so that number can no longer be in the choices. That leaves us with 9 choices for the second digit. Consequently, eight choices for the third digit. And to get the total number of plates, we will just multiply 26 times 25 times 9 times 9 times 8. And that is equal to 421,200.